What up? So today I have a review for you guys and it is going to be of two of the new MAC Mineralized Skin Finishes in the color Light Scapade <laughs> and Soft and Gentle. I thought I had the other one in my other hand. So let's get right into it. Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. So thank you for being so patient with me in my recent lack of uploading. So to rectify that, I am giving you guys a review of two new products from MAC. They're not like super new. People have been talking about them for a while. Oh my God, I can't talk. green smoothie all the way. Okay, now that I'm no longer parched, back to what I was saying. These are not super, super new, but a lot of people have been talking about them and a lot of people want to know more about them. So I thought, why not give my two cents in on this huge discussion that's going on right now around these two ever hyped products and also let you guys, my subscribers who I love so much, know about them as well, because I know a lot of you guys are interested in the products that I use and love every day. So. I thought I'd show you them, so let's get right into it. The first I will talk about is probably the one that more people are interested in, and that is Soft and Gentle. This has been talked about by literally every single YouTuber that I have watched on YouTube who does makeup videos. I think everyone has this product. So I kind of feel late on the bandwagon, bandwagon. I feel kind of late doing this, but why not? All right, so Soft and Gentle is one of Max Mineralized Skin Finishes, so that being said, it is to be expected that it will be a very, very buttery formula, very blendable, and very, very nice to work with, which of course was true. It comes in the new packaging like so. It's very nice. They've kept the mattified plastic on the outside packaging, but on the back it's a sleek, shiny side, and the side, the back is bezeled, so it's curved so that the products can stack and fit in your drawer better. I've talked about this already. Additionally, the new packaging has a magnetic slap, snap closure, which I don't really like very much because it's kind of hard to open if you want to just open it up. Can't really do that. Of course, except the one time I'm talking about it, it does it. Anyway, back to the, back to the product. Soft and Gentle is a very pretty peach toned highlighter. It can be used to highlight the cheekbones, down the center of the nose, forehead, eyebrow, your eyebrow, brow bone, inner corner, cupid's bow, chin, wherever you want to put it. If you are going for a super, super bronze look, or if you happen to be a Victoria's Secret model, you could put this all over your face if you wanted, but I don't recommend that for every day. This product is super pretty. It is very, very buttery. That is what it looks like swatched on my finger. Super, super pretty. I mean, the color is absolutely to die for. As you can see, it is just super reflective. But when you have it, ignore that swatch. When you blend it out, it is super reflective, but it's sheer. It doesn't look like glitter. It looks very believable as a natural glow from within. Many people have seen this used tons of times, and I can honestly say, there's a reason. It's a beautifully formulated powder and it's just got the right amount of shimmer and just the right amount of not glitter. Next is Light Scapade. Next, as though there are more. Finally is Light Scapade. This is the second highlighter that I purchased from MAC. I ha also have Global Glow, which I will insert right here. I have a full review of that one as well if you want to see that. But this is the one that I was the most hesitant to buy because of the color. As you can see, that is very light like really light. And these I did not buy for my kit to use on other people. These I bought for myself personally. So it was it was kind of like I talked myself into it. Actually, now that I think about it, I don't think I asked for this. I think this was just in, yes. I realized that this was in the bag when I got home. I didn't actually ask for this, but I'm glad I have it because it is beautiful. It is worth the money. These are, these retail for, $32. So they're quite expensive, but again, they're worth it. They last a long time. You don't need much. Just doing these swatches, I probably wasted like 38 cents of them. 
but this is Light Scapade. It's a really, really light white powder, but if you look really close, it has like pink and pur let me get that out of the light. Pink and blue and just yellow and flesh tone vein running through it. It's like marbleized, which will give you a very natural, like a really natural look when it's blended out. So I'll put that on my left hand so you can see. And it gives a very similar finish to the Hourglass Ambient Lighting Powders. It's a little bit more light reflective, so it's not as natural, but if you use it with a fan brush, you could definitely achieve a very sheer finish with it as well. So guys, that concludes my review of the two new products in my collection, the MAC Mineralized Skin Finishes in Light Scapade and Soft and Gentle. Gotta write that time. And I really like them. I highly recommend them if you are gonna save up for a highlighter that is high-end and you don't already own one, I think these are two really great ones to look into. They are on the cheaper end of high-end highlighters, so I think it's a good entry. They are also greatly formulated, greatly for- they are- they have great formulations and they aren't overly noticeable, they're easy to work with, so if you're new to highlighters, they're not like Ooh, this is the most pigmented thing in the world. I have to place it like super carefully. It's not like that, like some highlighters are. So this is just two really great powders that I highly, highly recommend. They're really great for the price. And if you're gonna save up for a highlighter, these are two great ones to save up for, especially again, if you are not too familiar with highlighters. MAC is a great place to go for people who are new to makeup because it has everything in one stop and pretty much everything within the line give or take, is of very, very high quality. Of course, with every line, there are things that are misses, and even MAC employees know that there are some products of, in their line that are not that great, but that's to say with every line. So if you want to try anything from MAC and you are interested in highlighters, these are two great ones to buy. And yeah, so thank you guys so much for watching. I hope this was helpful to any of you who were interested in looking into getting these. And yeah, thank you again. I say and yeah so much, so I'm gonna work on that. But again, thank you for watching. I'll catch you guys next time. I love you all. And let me know if there's any other products you want me to review or haul or talk about in the comment bar down below. And I will see you guys next time. Bye! -o.